What's going on guys, so this video is going to be relatively short and to the point. Just want to touch up on a subject that I posted about on my Instagram a while back and that is standing on the shoulders of giants, meaning building on previous experiences, successes and discoveries that aren't necessarily your own. You know, like, you don't necessarily have to reinvent the wheel. You know, there's been people before you that have already experienced it all. They've, you know, they've already had the wins, the losses, you know, they've, 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 they've learned from it all and you know, there's no point in you trying to do all that yourself as well. You, know, you can learn from their successes and their failures and use them to get further, you know, yourself. So rather than trying to do like everything by our, you know, by ourselves, you know, learn from those that are top of, your, of their field and seek guidance from them. Like there was this quote, I think I used the, the same quote on my Instagram post as well. Uh, let me get it up. We are like dwarfs sitting on the shoulders of giants. We see more and things that are more distant than they did. Not because our sight is superior or because we are taller than they, but because they raise us up and by their great stature add to ours. So basically, because we are building on their experiences, you know, building on what they've learned, you know, we can go so much further because we don't have to make the same mistakes they did. You know, we can go right to the to the finish line basically. And like the, the reason why I want to talk about this now is because I've used this so much these last few years and like everything just sped up. You know what I mean? Like at the start, obviously, you know, especially when, when you've never ever invested in yourself before other than like uh, school and uni, you know, sometimes it's quite difficult to make that, you know, to take that, that leap to like invest in a course or invest in coaching. You know, especially like the internet nowadays, like you don't really trust a lot of people and a lot of uh, things you know, you always think of oh, whatever gets scammed, or what you know, what if this happens, what if that happens, what if it's all like a smoke screen, and and like I won't necessarily benefit from it. I understand like the very first time it took me so long to to actually take that step, and I was trying to figure it out on my own. You know, I was trying to find YouTube videos, I was trying to search for torrents of courses because I didn't want to you know invest in me in in the course. I didn't want to pay like a thousand for a course. I think you know. There must be some way to get it either for free or with a discount or anything like that. And it wasn't until that I actually started doing that, like I actually started investing in courses, that like, things just went so much quicker. You know, instead of spending time trying to figure it all out myself, I'll just buy a course or invest in coaching from someone that who's already done it, who's already experienced it all, and just learn from them. You know, you're sort of like, you're buying your way to success, you know what I mean? You don't have to experience all the losses and failures of what, what they've done. You know, because you're going straight for the finish line, you know what I mean? You're, you're using their wins and their experiences to benefit yourself. So anyway guys, my call to action for you today is write down a certain goal that you've you know that you've got in mind or that you want to achieve and don't just say like okay I want to become a millionaire or I want to earn a lot of money. You know, be very specific. So write down, okay, by 2020 I wanna become a millionaire by leveraging uh, Amazon FBA and my personal brand. You know, I'm going to work on this five days a week for the next two years, so 2018 to 2020. You know, that is very specific, and because it's so specific, you can reverse engineer and see, okay, what what are the steps I need to take? You know, what do I need to do to achieve this? Then, once you've actually got your end goal in mind, or you've, you've written down your end goal, find someone that is top of that field. So find the best most superior, most experienced Amazon FBA guy you can find and just soak up their content. Soak up, you know, like watch all the videos that they've got on YouTube, uh, flick through all the Instagram posts, buy the courses, uh, buy the coaching. You know, just try and get and like try to extract as much knowledge from that person as possible because he is steps, you know, a few steps ahead of you. You know, he's, he's already done all the work. Just, you know, so, so what you do is you find out from him you know, what to do and what not to do, you know, what to avoid and what to go all in on because if you're gonna do it yourself, you're gonna waste so much time, you know, like making the mistakes that he done as well before he actually figured out how it, how it does work. And I think like people are so scared to spend money, like they would rather waste time to spend the money and it should be the other way around. Like money comes and goes, you can always earn money and you can always spend money, but once you've spent your time, there's no way of getting it back. Time is your most valuable commodity and we need to start treating it more that way as well. So how to, to, to save time rather than waste it is by, you know, is, is by taking shortcuts and not necessarily taking a shortcut to success in the way of, 
you know, like half half ass to do and stuff, you know, like actually take the shortcut by buying success, by buying courses, by buying coaching from people and seek knowledge from them, extract it, use it for yourself and you know just go all in on it. Right, so this video was a little longer. I wanted this to be like a little two minute rant video and just get it out, you know, short and sweet, but a little bit longer than, than expected. Uh, actually on my way to London tomorrow for like a mastermind meet up with like a lot of social media marketers from all over the globe. Like there's people coming in from Canada and everything. Uh, basically what we're gonna do is just exchange knowledge, you know, like share ideas, uh, like brainstorm, you know, try and figure out like, new ways to to take the shortcuts basically, you know what I mean? Like learn from each other's mistakes and past experiences and just all in all like try and create this weekend where we just like brainstorm and mastermind. And I can't wait for it, it's tomorrow. I'm gonna try and document as much of it as possible. So this video is gonna be out on the Monday. Might do an extra few videos this week. I'll see like how much content I get. Might save it for, for next week. If you follow me on Instagram, well to be honest if you don't then you're missing out. But if you do, then you'll already know what's going on because I'll have it up on my Instagram stories. Uh, guys, other than that, shout out to the comment winner and comment mastermind to get a shout out on next week's or tomorrow's video, depending on how soon it uploads. Guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.